Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Edwards with cookingwithkimberly.com and I'm in the Christmas spirit, so what am I making? Something cool for Christmas, some little tasty tidbits for people to snack on that are different than the usual cookies and things. Jeez. And I want to be a little more seasonal with my ingredients, okay? So what I'm using is cranberries. What could be more holiday-like than cranberries? And what I've done is these cranberries have already been soaking. They've been soaking for a couple days. I didn't do it overnight. I didn't do it for eight hours. I did it for a couple days. I wanted it to be even more flavorful. I had time, so it was all good. If you don't have time, it's cool. So again, that's three cups of uh, three cups of water, two and a quarter cups of sugar, one cup or a like sorry, three cups of frozen cranberries or fresh cranberries. But what I did is I just used the whole like bag you get at the grocery store and dumped it in. Sit tight. I have cookies about to be made, so I have my timers going. Um, and then one cup of super fine sugar, and that's what I just, I just did a video for you guys to show you how to make super fine sugar at home. So now these guys have been sitting, and they're in this beautiful liquid. It's going to be gorgeous. I can't wait because that liquid can be used for cocktails or for cooking or for anything interesting that you want to add a little je ne sais quoi, some sweet cranberry flavor, okay? So you're going to reserve that liquid. Keep it in a beautiful bottle maybe and leave it in the fridge. But for right now, I'm concerned about these cranberries. So I am going to, before I start rolling them in sugar, I need to drain, strain them, okay? So I have a, just a plain old colander. This is how I stored them. And I like to store things in pitchers if I'm ever going to have to pour them later. Like instead of just a container, you might always think of just using a container. Try using a pitcher with a spout and a handle. Always works better, just saying. All right, so into that colander goes all my beautiful cranberries that are all coated with that beautiful liquid. Now this sugar liquid is what allows the, sh the super fine sugar that you're gonna roll it in to adhere, okay? And it's gonna take about, you know, probably a day to, to let these suckers dry out, okay? But that's okay. So there goes my liquid. The liquid is like unbelievable color. It's so gorgeous. I wish I could show you. I wanna show you in a glass so you can see. Hold on, sit tight. Everybody, hold on, hold on. Okay, I need a plate. <laughs> Hold on. All right, here we go. You have to see this because it's just, it's the brightest red color. This is no artificial colors, guys. This is nature, okay? This is nature. Nature, check it out. Look at the beautiful color. It's ruby. Bet it tastes like awesome. Wow. Wow, I'm gonna have to do some some drink recipes with that. That is stupid. It is so delicious. It definitely keep wow. this, okay? Keep this to the side. So here we go. Here's my cranberries, okay? They're in this colander. In, I made the super fine sugar. I'm about a three quarters to a cup of it, okay? And it's just going into a bowl. I'm just going to roll these suckers in there. So out they come. Just take a couple at a time, plunk them in that sugar. All right, and I'm gonna show you a couple, maybe a couple handfuls, and I mean, really, I don't have to show you the whole darn bowl. Come on, guys. All right, plain old cookie sheets. That's what you're gonna put these bad boys on after you roll them in sugar. So make sure they're completely coated, and you want them to look pretty. Like, think of that, um, the Christmas story, right? Damn, with sh visions of sugar plums dancing in their heads. Well, these are sugar cranberries. So that's how pretty they should be and beautiful. And they are, look how pretty they are. That super fine sugar does such a pretty job it makes it look like a really professional piece of little candy now once that dries out you're gonna get this burst of a fruity tang this cranberry seriously tangy cranberry inside but it's coated in this beautiful sugar and it just tempers it all out and it makes it feel and taste like um cranberry sauce as a snack in your mouth like how cool is that right if you love cranberry sauce you will love this if you love cranberries at all you will love this. Now, instead of using your hands to take this out, you can also use um, a slotted spoon would work beautifully. And that's what I'm going to use, I think, because I think this is just faster. Beautiful. It's like a scooper with holes in the middle. Slotted spoon is just holes. So I'm gonna show you what this slotted spoon looks like. Make sure all the, all the edges are covered with sugar. Okay, so this is a slotted spoon, has holes in it so that little fine things like sugar can fall right through. And so then it just grabs your little cranberries, now you have cranberries, you didn't have to touch them and they're all beautifully strained, right? Work smarter, not harder, people. That's what it's about. And these, I can't wait to eat them. <laughs> I 
I've been excited, you know, I didn't want to just do the overnight thing and I decided, you know, let me just go all out and we're going to make sure that these bad boys are so good and delicious. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep repeating this until they're all done and I'm going to let them just, don't let them touch on the, on the cookie sheet. Make sure they're apart and I'm just going to let them sit until they dry out. Then you're going to eat these awesome little pop cranberries. It's gonna be great. Try them. It's a cool little new snack that no one you probably have never had. I bet you've never had it. And if you haven't, I bet your guests have never had it. So hey, you're looking like a million bucks, like a total champion, and you're looking like you're so inventive, right? There's nothing new under the sun, guys. How long have we been talking about sugar plums and other fruits? But no one really ever does them. I don't ever see sugar plums at Christmas, do you? I don't. I don't even think my mom ever made them, and my mom's pretty darn conservative and traditional. So Interesting. Try these out. And they're such beautiful colors. They're different hues of cranberry. Like each cranberry is kind of a different color. So like a different hue of, of red. And you can tell that too. It's just covered up and frosted with this nice sugar. That's all. I could talk for days about these because I'm really excited about them. So I'm going to let you guys go. <laughs> Make sure you check me out on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. And go to the Facebook fan page. Tell me how you like everything. Interact with us. It's facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. You can find my shows on YouTube. YouTube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. The channel is called Cooking with Kimberly. And my website is cookingwithkimberly.com. Search my recipes. I hope you guys check us out for holidays and do some cool stuff. Get in your kitchen. Do something, okay? Eat deliciously. Bye.